With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect shares his expectations with a former coach. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. That Sammy's pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage, back to the... A minor league manager checks in with one of his players to discuss a launch plan for the young man's development. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. And I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can field. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while.
and girls, people of all ages, I go by the name of Phil Augusta Jackson. This is the Redondo Tape. Shout out to Nick Lee. Six months in Redondo. Each right by the condo. Oh my gosh, oh my God, I'm I'ma need my sushi pronto. Shooting star like a Cosmo. 